What's going on everybody? It's Mr. Fresh Yeti coming at you with another video. This is episode three, three of the how to make a thousand dollars a day pressure washing case study. Before we do anything, I would like you to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you never ever miss an upload. And if you're new to my videos, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up, give us a like, and subscribe. Today, man, I'm very, very excited because all the work that we put in yesterday, sending out emails, we actually got a response. A response! A response! Can you believe we got a response in one day? So that just goes to show you, man, if you keep working, you keep pushing, keep doing things, man, you can get results, like, right away. Also, I got some other exclusive footage. I got a present today, and I'm gonna show you guys what it is. Let's hop over to my computer right now, and then I'm gonna get into that extra special footage. Yeah! All right, guys, here we are in my email. And if you remember from yesterday's video, we were writing this email so that we could send out to realtors and property management companies. And if you didn't see that video, here's a video right here. You should be able to click that card right there. You should be able to see that video. You wanna watch that video before you watch this one so that you know what's going on. Or you can watch it after, as long as you watch it. That's the point, right? Good. So here's the email that I sent out and we actually got a response. Can you believe we just got a response? But you know what? What's even crazier than that is that I realized as I was actually recording this video that we got two responses. We actually got two responses, not just one, two. Now that's awesome because we only did about 13, I think. I think I really only sat there and did about 13 emails. So that is an awesome return for only like 13 emails. I got two responses. So on this one, it says he does have a property and he needs the windows clean after the pollen season. And do I do inside and out? Of course we do inside and out. So that is a potential sale. So making the contact, otherwise I wouldn't have had the contact. Now I got a potential customer. Now I'm going to work this customer. I have his email um, down here. I have a cell phone number. I'm going to start working this customer. So all we have to do now is take this email, take this phone number, and we can send a text message. We can send an email that just basically says, hey, you reached out to me in February. It is now April 1st or April 2nd. <laughs> for uh, April Fool's Day. I um, just want to reach back out to you just to see where you're at with the window cleaning. Let me know, blah, blah, blah. Look forward to hearing from you, okay? So that is a way to keep working that customer. And if he comes back and he doesn't say anything, then we're going to go ahead and send him another email maybe two or three days later and say, hey, was thinking about cleaning your windows. Want to know if you would like to schedule service. You got a lead. And this one is a definitely hot or warm lead because they do have a property and they want the windows clean and all we have to do is insert ourselves to get hired. All right, <clears throat> so that is a potential sale for later on in the season. Here is the actual second response. It just says, how much do you charge for window cleaning and how much do you charge for pressure washing? So of course I responded and I gave them my prices for what I charge for window cleaning. Now, I charge $7 um, per window and I'll do a window cleaning video once I get a chance to do this actual job um, or the other job that um, I was looking at so I do charge seven bucks for the window cleaning that's for the outside paint it's an additional seven bucks for the inside paint so that'll be fourteen dollars per window now if you have like a patio door then it's ten dollars per side so it'll be twenty dollars for that big window for the patio door. And this right here, this is a warm lead. This is what I would call a warm lead. The person is asking information. So you got a warm lead. They're already interested. They're asking some information, and it's up to me to sell it. So I gave them, you know, the price breakdown, and we're going to move into emailing them again and trying to move it into an actual sale. So that is just the basics, man. That's like business 101 right there for you guys, man. Go out there, knock on a few doors. Nowadays, you don't have to go foot to foot knocking on doors. Actual, you can knock on doors by sending emails, text messages, and you can get a response, guys. So let's do it. Let's get this money, baby. Now, on to my special, special announcement. So today is an exciting day because it is the first day that I am getting a brand new piece for my new rig. Okay, so I've been pressure washing for a long time, uh, for a couple of years, and I am just starting over brand new with a new pressure washing company. And what I am doing is building a new rig. I have a new trailer hitch for my truck. I am going
going to pick it up right now. I'm so excited about this. And we're going to go through the whole process of me building this new rig. I'm so happy for that. Go on the customer's turn this order picked up. Yeah. So I got to pull down to the other end. They got to meet me down there. It up a little more. Or well, maybe it wasn't that. Just the shoes. So I just got my trailer hitch in. People at your Home Depot got me hooked up. It's right here. Up. Right there. It's going to be great, man. I'm so excited because this is the first time I've ever had a trailer hitch or even told anything before. I mean, call me like crazy or something, but like, you know, I've never had anything like this. So this is the first time me putting something on. So I, I kind of feel like a real, like, Georgia boy <laughs> with this. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the Kurt Toe Hitch. Only cost me 126 bucks. I'm gonna put this on the truck, hopefully tomorrow. If not, it'll be the weekend and we'll get it all right. I was told I would get a spanking if I opened this, you know, you know, the old ball and chain. So I'm not gonna open it, <laughs> but this is it. Of course, it's huge here, and we're gonna put this thing in hopefully tomorrow. All right, man. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us today, man. I hope that you liked the video. If you got this far in the video, man, go ahead and down below and comment. You're awesome, you're awesome, this was great. Let me know in the comments what you like, what you don't like, man, and keep those comments coming and those likes coming.